Hey guys, and welcome back to Phase Cave Fobolus. I don't know why I said that so weird, but here we are. We are just tending to our newly upgraded fields because the wheat was refusing to grow for some reason. So we've swapped it out for the Irish classic of potatoes. So let's just get back into it. If you look around, we've done a couple of improvements here and there. We've pentrupled, I think is the right term, our uh, furnaces because they won't let us upgrade. We've also put all of our bonsai pots onto wooden hoppers, so all of that stuff is just getting fed straight into this chest now. And once it's all taken care of, we can use it in all different things. So we're currently using sticks as a fuel source for this furnace, which is making me coal or charcoal, mostly because I had no idea what else to put in for what else to use that those sticks for. Uh, we're also pumping in pebbles into here from this hopper mostly because I didn't know where to put it into otherwise but and we completed a couple of quests while we were off so we finished coal but we all knew that was going to happen pretty quickly as well we also finished off the low fluid retrieval and the low retrieval modules but our next objective is this aqueous accumulator, which is the way they want us to get water. So for that, we just need a barrel, a barrel, a coal, two lapis, and five of these mixed ingots. And at this point, I think we have all of that by the barrel. But we can have everything for the barrel real quick right now. So we just need two of those. One hopper. And planks down the sides, and we are good with the barrel. Is that not right? Right, wrong organization. I was thinking of the advanced barrel. Now we can just straight up make this aqueous accumulator. Which is answering my question from before of how do I get water into this system? not there not there so we'll chuck the first placed piece of cobblestone in this world also gonna need to go and make another new bucket because I've been literally burning through all of my other ones what we can do what we should be able to do is chuck a water source here and chuck chuck a stone here we want the water source to be there and there. Aqueous accumulator is here and filled up. And we just need to go and make another one of those insert and fluid modules. Or whatever they were called. We also made... Uh, I can't seem to find them, but we've also made a bunch of those basic module things put them in over here with the rest of my cell so we'll grab one of these and we just need to make some uh what am i thinking of right now some of the fluid the floppers And that takes care of that. That should take care of that. Why is it working over here but not over here? Do we need to use this one? Hmm. This is odd and I don't like it.
That's the issue. It needs to not be coming off of this spot. Okay. What I want to do. So what we're going to do then. Grab that water block. Grab this. One out here and here. And slab, chuck that slab down. Grab one more fluid pipe for this. Water source block here. Here. Not where I wanted it. And then the aqueous accumulator in the middle. Then that comes out there and starts pumping straight up. We're going to take that out of there. This is out of pebbles, so that's why that's not working anymore. Cool. Right. That's that set up now. Next up, we're going to start working on these two pickaxes. Uh, partly because I'm pretty sure we already have everything we need for them. Yes. Uh, we should have a buttload of six again. Uh, and we're going to start working on some more oak planks specifically so that we can get some more drawers. Now we'll make ourselves a lapis pickaxe and a copper pickaxe. We have 128. Don't see the difference, but okay. Chuck that into there. Chuck the six into here. Grab out charcoal. Top this one up. Right. So, next thing up is making copper dust. Which means we're going to have to pull these out of here. Wait for that to go through. I put this in, or do I put the other one in? That has to be ingots. It's unfortunate. Plus side, it's not going to take very long for that to go through. Especially considering for this objective, we only need one copper ingot. So, we're going to chuck the copper into here, and it should start... It should start eroding. Ah, at least two ingots. My bad. That is 100% on me, and there we go. So, we also are going to need tin. Which we can start smelting up the top. So that's copper dust. I just combined this in my inventory, but we need three lots of copper dust. That's enough for a second one. That'll do it. Right, so, put that into there, put those into here so that we can erode them as well. Right, so this is to make the ingenious igneous extruder, uh, which is the, we're going to make stone. So what's going to happen with this is we're going to be pumping the stone into here. And when we do, we're going to remove this so that we can put the stone. So it's going to pump water straight across and then have stone fed in from the top. If I can remember that when the time comes to it. Alright. So as soon as that's done, we're good to go. Need a block of bronze. It's going to be a bit more of a pain in the ass to make. But we need a full block of bronze to make this. Which means we're going to need to feed even more copper into this thing. Right, so... Bronze blend. Going to give us four pieces of block of bronze. So 
so those four are going to get eroded and more teams are going to get run through. We just need a lot more of this stuff. So again, we can just start loading this shit up. Till the point where we have cobblestone ready to go. Or any kind of pebbles ready to go. We're just gonna have to keep loading this shit up. Does it come through slow when we use actual stone? Cool. Uh, why are you not pumping out? So we want orange. Maybe we need to put blue here. And then if we have pebbles in here. So this is very much trial and error more than anything else. That's still not coming out. I can't find a way to get them both to come out. Why is nothing getting pulled from here? Wait, there we go. Lava's getting pulled out. Water's at full. There we go, finally got it fixed. It only took us 20 minutes. But now we have everything apart from pebbles sorted. My apologies for that. So now, we just need to get that one last piece. So there's one thing left to get before we can wrap this all up. We just need a block of bronze to make it. Which means we need... Four more pieces of copper. Three more after the one that's just currently cooking. On the plus side, we have got plenty of uh, ore forming water. And we have plenty of logs as well. I can now break prismarine. Nifty. Which means I'm probably going to want to make a block of that too. All we need now is to erode this, and then we are good and done with this quest. I'm 99% sure I've got everything else I need for this quest 
on me as we speak. So we make more bronze. Just got to smelt this last piece of bronze and we can finish this quest. Well, these two quests actually. So now we can make a block of bronze. Which is in first ores. We also need to make a crafting calculator. So we need advanced barrels. Of course we do. No. We need planks. So we're going to need that should hopefully be enough. About that many buckets. And that's only enough for one. What else are we missing? I just must have been holding the thing. Make one or more of these, and then we can make an igneous extractor. All we've got left to make now is crafting calculator, which is eight runs, and we're not making that just yet. No way in hell. Ooh, diving suits and bronze chest plates. Some nifty stuff there. We're not making bronze blend that way. Fuck no. Right. So in the meantime. gonna snap these up get the hopper out of the way took that there and connect uh, we're also going to just load this back into it just now not pumping up unfortunately Empty hand it. We'll try that other way that we had before that we used before. Right. Alternatively. We go, where are my pipes at? We put it back how it was. Yep. All right, so that's going to pull out of there and put it into there. Now we're going to put this here. We're going to need to make buckets. Probably two. Like the second isn't going to be necessary per se, but it's going to help. I'm going to just snap that off real quick. When this hits a thousand, we can take care of the next step. In the meantime, looks four bronze. Uh, we're going to have a look at organic processes, which we need two bronze, four wheat. 
and an alloy mixer. Okay. Back to the barrel making we go. So we're going to need a fair few hoppers. Then from here, the rest of these can get turned into planks. That'll do for hoppers. Now we just need more wood, so we can make buckets. Now, so close, but we're out of we're out of pebbles. Right, so this is now making us some pebbles. No, we've done this wrong. That's why I made a second bucket. It still works like that. So the reason we had to do it that way is because we need this to be able to go into the bottom of this. Can't even do it that way because it's still that. Alright, so we're going to take that and that. In the meantime, do that. Reconnect this so that the lava's coming out again. Um, we can find, we just need some hoppers, which we definitely got already. Right, we already had hoppers made, did we? So now we have pebbles coming out and going into here. Then we're also going to put another pipe here. So then as soon as that's full, these pebbles should start coming out and pushing onto the next thing. Which we should be able to see in just a second. It's not well designed, but if I'm not mistaken, everything here should now work. It's not perfect, but it's working. There we go. And in fact, this is actually going to start charging up more and more lava until it's full. And then these will just keep on bouncing back and forth. Right, so next thing. We need four pieces of wheat, which I do not believe we have currently. But we can just chuck our wheat seeds down, grab our new spuds, and head up to bone meal level, because we need more bone meal. Right. Home. Now we can just bone meal that until it's done, until we have enough, which should not take long at all. There we go. Plus, now we have a buttload of spare bone meal.
Yeah. Was there anything else we needed? We need a new alloy mixer. Which is why I was getting all those extra things. Right. Right. Extra wood again. Make a buttload of buckets. Need more planks. And then we can make four barrels. Four barrels can make two advanced barrels. Two advanced barrels can make an alley mixer. An alley mixer can make a organic producer. Boom. Right. More dirt. The organic producer can also be used to make dirt. Cool. Various other saplings can be made in the organic producer. Also cool. Various other seeds and food can be made in the organic producer. So, we're going to start with... Probably sugar cane. Right, so how does this work? Ooh, we can make an everything combiner. Uh, we need water and resources and it makes something else. Like moss balls and moss can make us more dirt. Jungle sapling and moss balls make us... Right, so we're going to need moss is what I'm hearing here. And this can just sit in here. Uh, we'll make another infinite water supply over here just because I like my Foursquare infinite water supplies. Oopsie. There we go. Alright, so. Chuck that into there, and the first one up is oak saplings. So we need an azalea and moss balls. Which means it's time to head back down to the moss floor. Chuck in that, chuck in moss balls. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Does it need to be the flowering azalea? It has to be the other way around. There we go. I think it might be one gives one kind of tree, the other gives the other. Alright, dark oak is oak in there. And this one was the non flowery azalea. Right, cool. This is an interesting item. Not the most useful thing in the world, though. And this should give us a jungle one. Oh, no, spruce for this one. This one gave a jungle. We'll just head back down real quick and grab even more moss. Into an acacia. Oh, spruce must be the end of the line for that too. Right, so that finishes off all of the trees. To get beetroot seeds, we just need wheat and wheat. Helpful. No, we've already got the wheat seeds on us and all. Right, so pull out that. Put these in. No. Use. So what's the next thing on the list? Melon seeds. We get melon seeds by putting red dye in with wheat seeds. Red dye, of course, we need to get grass blocks. Or, actually, we can grow beetroots, right. So we'll pull that out. But we didn't get... Oh, we got beetroot seeds, not beetroot. Right, right, right. Uh, we also have a bunch of bone meal just in here.
I can go away. Right. We got some melon seeds. Already got the potatoes, so we don't have to do that one. To get pumpkin seeds. We need seeds and orange dye. I'm not entirely sure how we're meant to get orange dye though. Because I haven't seen any of this stuff. Nor am I sure how we're meant to get a tulip. Oh, that can be left for now. How do I get sugarcane? Uh, eight flowering azaleas and a stick. Oh, we should have both of those on us. See, no, we don't have a stick. That's odd. Now we'll just farm out a bunch of potatoes because we are real low on food. And then we should be good. Gives us sugar cane. Cactus is going to be flint with green wool. Which is an odd combination. And seagrass Bone meal on a dirt block that is underwater. Interesting. But after this, we're going to have to go diving down to Prismarine, which if I'm not mistaken is our first aquatic floor. But as we're eating up, we're going to call it here for the day. As you can see, we have come a long way getting food production and all of our all of our completed ore production that it's now entirely automated all we have to do now is hook this all up to a furnace in the end and we'll be able to go straight into the ores or hook it up to a drawer system and that way we can have them all separate but this is us if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, smack the thumbs up, and we'll be back next week, same fay time, same fay place.